Okay, before I did a sort of a basic overclocking video, and now in this one I'm going to do a more extreme uh, version of that. And here I'm running uh, the Eagle's Blood ROM, the Froyo version, and I have installed the um, Trinity kernel by Morphic. And um, what I'm going to do is give you a stock uh, 1.0 gigahertz benchmark using Quadrant, Linpack, um, Nina Mark and Neocore, and then I'll do the same for with an overclock of 1.5 gigahertz and see how they compare. Alright, the first test we're going to do with a 1.0 uh, stock setting is Quadrant. Okay, and it looks like our result here is a 28.48, so that's pretty good for the 1.0. And the next test is Linpack. We get 34.218 megaflops. Next, Ninamark. And this is actually Ninamark version 2. Okay, for our result, we got 27.4 frames per second. Final test on the 1.0 gigahertz is NeoCore. Here's the result, 81 um, frames per second. Now next we're going to go to the overclock 1.5 gigahertz and see what we get. Alright, I've got the phone overclocked to 1.5 gigahertz, so now we're ready to run the same four tests. First is Quadrant. Alright, looks like we got a score of 40-43, that's pretty good. Next test is Linpack. And we got a score of 52-33. Third test, Nina Mark. It looks like we got 27.9 frames per second there. Last test will be Neo Core. Okay, our score here is 83.2 frames per second. Now we've done all the four tests, so let's go check out the results. All right, here are the results from our two sets of tests. Uh, the biggest difference you can see right away is in the quadrant scores um, with really almost a 1,200 point difference, and that's pretty big. Um, and I guess you could say that's the most popular score that people look at, so there you go. The next... Um, jump here is for Linpack. Um, it looks like about 16 um, mega flops. Actually no, about 18. And uh, that's a pretty big difference too. Um, then when you get down to the next two, like Nina Mark, uh, this is Nina Mark 2, and um, it's a lot more graphically, graphically intensive and CPU intensive. And so that's probably why we don't see a giant jump here although you'd think it'd be quite a bit more than just a half a frame but anyway there's your difference and finally for Neo Core we get about 2.2 frames difference and again that's not very big um, and actually I would have expected that one to be a much bigger jump but I guess not um, 
and I guess you could say different kernels, you might expect different results for different programs, for different apps, but um, anyway, here's the results we got. So that concludes our uh, super overclock, as I like to say, and thanks to uh, Team Shockwave for the Eagle's Blood ROM, and thanks to Morphic for the awesome overclock kernel, and thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.